Nichols TV, watches and jewelry. Hi everybody, I'm Danny Nichols and I'm here at Switzerland at the world famous Chevenet at the manufacturer of the OYR01 movement. So we start with the raw material, which is brass. And at the end of the production line, after four machines, we have the finished product, which all of uh, shapes are finished. That means all the holes and different depth. We have different production lines, so we can do So this is a assembling workshop. So we do different uh, 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 steps. So we take the 130 different spare parts. We assemble them in order to assemble the finished movement with a good regulation and the good uh, accuracy. So we start with uh, operation uh, out of the production line. This is a preparation before the final assembling. So we have some very small and very uh, um, uh, um, uh, tiny, yeah, tiny uh, uh, operation to do. Um, and it's before starting the final assembling. So you can have a look. So for each operation, we have the recipe. We have to follow on the computer. And everything is written in order to ensure that the quality is always the same. So you have to know that producing uh, 50,000 movements per year uh, is not the same job as producing the high hand movements. We have to be very regular in the production and the quality must be always the same. Because the movement on Monday morning must be the same at Friday evening. And so in this workshop, we have different level of skills. We have people who can assemble and we also have watchmakers and watchmakers are only for complicated operation but also to fix problems when they have problems. We also have engineers, we also have engineers and engineers help watchmakers. Watchmakers are very, very efficient to know when there is a problem but to fix problems in the long term yeah. is difficult. That's why we have engineers in order to work with our suppliers and to work also with the production. And for the final assembling, we have production lines. That means we share the job, we split the job between different people in order to uh, be efficient enough. Into a, a ring like that. And on the ring, we have a QR code, and the QR code allows to track the piece during the final assembling. So thanks to that, we know exactly what kind of quality control we've done and what kind of problems we could have on one uh, uh, movement. So these are the different parts we have. And at the end, we have the finished movement. So first of all, we assemble the system, the three-hand system. That means the chronograph is a complication. The chronograph is assembled after the, uh, 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 the base movement to are put into the uh, blue pallets. It's an end-link system. So thanks to that, the piece can go through uh, uh, the process and uh, uh, can uh, uh, go uh, through the assembling uh, 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 stages. When there are problems, people can tell to the system that there is a problem on a piece and the piece is uh, uh, automatically put into the red rack. So you have different operations, operation made by hand and operation also automatic operations, especially to put oil or to take measures. We are controlling, for example, is to control the, the pallet. So this is a jowl. This is the escapement wheel. And we measure the contact between the ruby and the, the teeth of the, of the wheel. So you can see the recipe. So in green is a... Uh, uh, 
in red is the control they have to what they have to check, and in uh, in pink is um, I think the tool uh, they have to to use. <laughs>